Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Tuesday. All right guys, welcome to the second channel for the extra coverage. And don't forget tonight, we have Jason and Josh going live for Anchor Watch at 11 p.m. Eastern, which is 8 p.m. Pacific. We have lots going on. Now, you guys know based off of all of the other videos, I'm not going to be around today. I'll be posting videos because I'm pre-recording them all super early this morning, but I'll be at the dentist. So thank you for all of your kind words and the love. I appreciate the hell out of you. With that, we're getting into Katie Maloney, who's giving us a lot of the gritty little details when it comes to her time on Vanderpump Rules and things that she found very weird and gross, and also some of the biggest misconceptions and big storylines. Here we go. Okay, guys, so thank you to Reality Blurb for mentioning this, but I thought this was interesting. So she was explaining why she can't empathize with Rachel, and she shared her most and least favorite moments from the show, while also shading Tom Shorts for the things that he said about her on season 10. Um, she accused certain cast members of acting out for airtime and revealed what she's learned from her time on Bravo. She said, I've learned to just like live very authentically, to really tell the truth. This was on an episode of Almost Adulting. I think when you try to self-produce or try to hide things about yourself or your life, it's better just to be exactly who you are and not care what that looks like or what it's going to mean because the opinions of the people that are watching just don't, they don't matter at the end. I know it can be difficult to read certain things or hear certain feedback, but they're not people that should matter. Yes and no. They are the ones who are watching you giving the ratings and they're the ones who are investing into your lives. But if people are going to be nasty and negative, then I completely agree with you. I mean, sometimes it's really hard to read comments and I'm not even close to on the level of the Vanderpump Rules stars at all with our platform here. I'm just so happy to share this with the Adams family and the community. But sometimes you do get nasty negative comments and they can be debilitating and they can make you feel this big. And you have to kind of go through and filter what matters to you and what doesn't. I agree with that. But wait, 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 wait. According to Katie, she found that her honesty has made her more relatable to viewers. When you're honest about your flaws and insecurities and your shortcomings or your strengths, or when you're just honest about all those parts of you, people see themselves in those parts of you. Yeah. Although Katie does her best to be candid for the camera, she said it's not always easy watching others do the same, especially her ex-husband. To see him talk about me in a way that was just very disrespectful and derogatory and him having conversations with Sheena and Rachel about me, that was a little surprising because I didn't know that that was happening. It's humiliating. And at the end of the day, Katie doesn't care about the opinions of people she doesn't know, but when it comes to Shorts, she said that she holds him accountable. For Katie, it wasn't easy having her divorce from Shorts play out on the show. In fact, it was her least favorite memory from the series. Last season was a particularly difficult season. It wasn't a good time. Anytime I was having to have arguments with him, it was frustrating and hard because I just knew this isn't going to be fun to have to go back and talk about it when we have to sit in our interview chairs and go over how I was feeling in that moment and then have to watch it back. Those moments were particularly hard to have in real time, to have to talk about and then just to rewatch. It was like having to live it over again and again. I actually, since you guys know, we do a lot of interviews. Um, that's one of the things that I hear from most housewives all the time where they're like, what, when I ask what's the hardest part, they're like, well, you live it and then you have to rewatch it. And then you get to see what everybody else is saying about you. And it's a completely different context. And you're like, um, and then you don't know how it's going to be edited or portrayed. Yeah. I like having control over the edit over here on YouTube. Oof. Okay. She did say she's had plenty of good times though. Our trips are always fun and memorable. When we went to Puerto Vallarta, that trip was just a ton of fun because I think the, for the most part, we were all pretty much getting along. So we were all just able to have a really good time. We did this ATV thing through the jungle. Yeah. But in addition to her drama with Tom Schwartz in mid-season 10, Katie and the rest of her cast were also met with the affair that we've all talked about. And when asked if she has any empathy for Rachel, she said no. I don't know that I can feel empathy for somebody that consciously made decisions actively was making a decision every day for seven to nine months almost i can't emphasize with that because i would never do anything like that mm. when it comes to her potentially forgiving rachel for the affair she pointed out that 
she will likely never have to cross that bridge. I don't think I'm ever going to see her again. I don't even know if that's something I have to worry about. But as for her castmates' fake drama on the show, Katie said that some of her co-stars have fabricated issues in an effort to nab more screen time on the show. There are definitely people who have done that. It's so obvious, and I think sometimes those things don't play out very well. Yeah, I agree with that. But when she was talking about what's next, she said, I'm excited about the unknown. I like that I don't know what's next or what's going to happen, and anything can happen. She said that the unknown used to scare her. I was settled. I had the house and the husband, and I was like, oh, my God, I'm good. And then when I was getting a divorce, I was like, oh, my God, what's going to happen? I don't know. I'm just going to be on my own. That part was terrifying, but now I think it's actually kind of liberating and exciting. She all, she did acknowledge that she may remain single, but she said that she'd rather be alone and happy than with the wrong person. But as for marriage and kids, she revealed she could go either way, depending on who she ends up meeting. I don't want to get divorced again, so if avoiding marriage will avoid that, that's fine. But I would like to meet someone and have the rest of my life with somebody. I still believe in that kind of love. Oh. When Katie was then asked for the biggest misconception people have of her, she signaled the dynamic between her and Tom post-split. This whole thing of like, I asked for boundaries with Tom. Hey, can you not maybe make out with people that are on the show with us or in the friend group? And then people were saying, well, you dumped him. You're the one who asked for the divorce. I don't get feelings. I can't have feelings. I think she can have feelings. That was really frustrating. And it's like, oh, okay. I wanted to get the divorce. This is my dream. I wasn't really left with a choice. I wanted to be happy, but it doesn't mean that I was stoked on it. I'm like, y'all watched our entire relationship play out and you saw him cheat on me and dump drinks on my head. Y'all basically saw this coming long before I did. And yet you're saying I blindsided him with this. It's wild to me. It takes two to tango, but I put in the work to try to be a better partner. Now, Katie admitted that she misses her friendship with Tom Shorts last year as they did finalize their divorce, but uh, she said she doesn't anymore. After New Year's, there was definitely a turning point where I was like, I'm good. I think when I started watching the show and seeing how he was behaving and seeing how he was talking about me, I was like, this is gross to me. And I kind of started to resent him a little bit. And that was a gift. That was helpful. She did admit she overstayed in the marriage, though. I held on to the relationship because I was in love with him and I wasn't wanting a future. Everything with him, I, I think I was almost very broken. My confidence and self-worth was very much broken down and there was infidelity and cheating and stuff that happened and he blamed a lot of it on me and I just took it. Yeah. Well, she said that she took a backseat to the rest of his life. She said, I never felt prioritized. He didn't really have my back or defend me or make me feel supported or heard. I just wanted the validation from him. So I made myself smaller in ways. I lost myself. I was very much so a shell of a woman. I mean, I want to get to the Joe part. Katie said at this point, she isn't having to deal with another woman in Schwartz's life. And she said it's bound to happen at some point before giving a nod to his relationship with Joe. He's already had this kind of weird situation with someone so far. And it's weirded me out a little bit, but I'm kind of at the point that I'm used to it. And she said that this season will be a little bit awkward. And when Schwartz gets in an official romance, it will also be awkward. As for the point that she wishes that fans never saw on the show, she said, I wish it never aired because it was taken highly out of context when I told Tom that his penis doesn't work because I didn't mean it as to like shame him to say that your penis actually doesn't work. We we're talking about how I felt. He always blames me for all of our problems. And I'm like, what if the reason why we don't have sex is because your penis doesn't work? That's not fair. We're both to blame for these problems. But nobody knows it because it really didn't come out or get shown the way that I meant it or the context. She is pretty open, though. I'll give that to her. Guys, I want to hear what your thoughts are. Okay, Katie. Being pretty candid and whatnot. Go ahead and comment below. Let us know what you think. And more importantly, before you go, don't forget to smash that like button, show some love, and we'll see you next time. Love you guys.